once we get the LiDAR flown, it'll take about a week to compile the information and resource potential will incorporate into their findings and, uh, and then we'll probably be in a position to, to announce the results of our LiDAR. Talking lithium here with Arctic Fox and Harry and you've got some strong partners from down under coming in all the way from Australia, resource potential. What's it all about? Yeah, resource potential, the company we hired and they've, they've got a lot of experience in hard rock lithium. As you know, I mean, the Australians are, I would say, the experts worldwide in terms of exploring, developing uh, hard rock lithium. So Resource Potential has put together a lot of data using currently available CGOM data as well as satellite imagery. And they've identified through their review a high potential of what we call LCT pigmentites, which is lithium, calcium, and, and tantalum. So for us, the LCT pigmentites are, are identical to that of what he met and a number of other discoveries have found in the James Bay area. So we're quite excited from their findings. All right, that's really exciting. And that uh, east-west trend you denominated is really important in lithium specifically, because as far we've been told before by geologists that if you have um, a lithium property like PMAT, which runs east to west, you actually have to apply neurology in that direction as well, because you're unlikely to find more lithium north-south. Is that correct? Yeah, that seems to be what we've been told as well. You know, Our research have indicated that you, you need that trend and faulting. I think during that era when all this occurred on the earth, everything seemed to fault in that specific direction. And we found that both on our Canna Lake and, and Delta Delta Lake property using resource potentials uh, analysis. All right. And um, you're also going to be using LiDAR in the future, if uh, I believe that's correct. How will that help with this respot uh, report to uh, paint a picture of what you actually have on the ground? Well, LiDAR, as you know, it gives us a 3D image of what's below the surface. So that, along with the work that resource potential has put together, will give us a clear picture exactly how the faulting occurs on the ground and where our ground crew can go specifically to start mapping and sampling the, the areas. So we'll be in there specifically on targets that we wanted to go after and, and it'd be much more cost effective for us to do that. So we're expecting the LiDAR to, to start probably within the next two, three days. And uh, what would the turnaround for results from that LiDAR report actually uh, be for investors? When can expect an, an update from this side? Well, probably once we get the LiDAR flown, it'll take about a week to compile the information and resource potential will incorporate into their findings and, uh, and then we'll probably be in a position to, to announce the results of our LiDAR. So we're talking roughly a short month, is that roughly correct? Probably a, a week to week and a half at the most. So we're, we're quite, I mean, it's very quick, the process. For us, uh, I mean, it, it gives us a lot of information in a very short period of time.